bless you for joining me again on Spirit Prayer. What a privilege and an honor to share the living word of God with you and also to equip you with the tools to become a spirit-filled entrepreneur. Today, I really want to talk about a subject that is going to unleash the potential of God for creating wealth in your life, to show you the processes that God takes you through to be able to uh, come to a place where you attract the riches instead of you working for it and you're laboriously struggling to make ends meet. I know you'll be excited to receive such revelation, but before I do that, I want you to take a moment, just watch these advertisements, and I'll be right back to get started. Today, I want to share a revelation with you that is in the Word of the Living God to awaken you with the strategy that God uses to literally prepare you to create wealth for yourself, where you are going to become an attractor of riches instead of you laboriously struggling to, to get things done. You are going to uh, fall into a seamless process by which God has ordained for you to be able to make it. And I want to take my scripture from Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. The Bible declares in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22, it says, The blessing of the Lord, it make a rage, and it added no sorrow to it. And I want us to consider the text again. The blessing of the Lord, it make it rich. So from the promise of the impartation of blessing and to the reality of the manifestation of the riches, there is a gap called making. He make it rich. And so you need to know that God's intention was to bless you so that you don't just become a pious person, and somebody with so dramatic, and uh, uh, you have such a dramatic experience in the chair. But the blessing was to make you, to transform you, so that you can now, through that transformation, access everything that God has ordained for you. So it says, the blessing of the Lord, it make it. When we talk about making, what does it really mean? When we talk about a product that is made from a country or from a manufacturer, the, the ability of the product to be able to withstand pressures and, and go through the tensile tests and go through processes and its ability to withstand, I mean, rigorous testing literally shows the quality of the manufacturer. So God has made you that by your life, and by the way you respond to circumstances and situation, people should look at you and be able to say, wow, God made such a person. You've been processed by him. You have gone through the, the transformation by his grace that he has literally equipped you. He has literally prepared you for every circumstance in life. God wants the soul of who he is to be stamped on you. 
in the way you engage life so that when people look at you you are not just going to be someone who pursues money and you are struggling to get riches but the way you respond to your circumstance people should look at you and say wow i see the character of god so when i talk about spirit printer, i'm not talking about just getting rich I'm talking about you using the character of God to access the inheritance that God has ordained for you. That when people look at you, they should be able to see Jesus in your life. He bless you to make you. And when you go through the making process, you will access the riches. So therefore, when we say you've been made, it affects your character. It reflects on the person who made you. Your life must literally uh, preach the character of your creator. And if that is the case, then your, your, the, the foundation of your wealth creation is really not just going to be based on you just pursuing riches, but it's really going to be based on how you allow the character of God to influence every processes of business. Now, what we say you will be made one of the things we have to understand is that the mere fact you've been made automatically will not produce the riches. There are things that must be done. See, God did not make you to be passive. He didn't make you to be lazy. He didn't make you to make yourself uh, pious and super spiritual and literally thinking that magically things will just appear. God made you so that you can be like him. And if he made you to be like him, then you have to understand you need to work. There are things that must be done in your life. And if you do those things as God does it, then the riches will automatically come to you. So what, what does it mean to be made? Because he bless you so that by the making process, you will get the riches. You don't pursue the riches or get the riches without you focusing on the transformation of your being made. Now, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 8, there is a scripture there that I want to use to clarify what I'm talking about. The Bible says that God blessed Adam and Eve, and then he said unto them, Be fruitful, multiply, replenish, and then have dominion. He blessed them. Then he said unto them. When he blessed them, he explained to them what the blessing entails. What is it about? And so when God blesses you, there's something that is infused in you that affects your being. He said, be fruitful. And so when God says you are blessed, that he has affected your being. You see, the blessing is to infuse something of God into your being. And when he blessed you, there was an impartation. There's something dwelling within you that is of a divine DNA that has equipped you to be able to be fruitful and your fruitfulness will reflect what you have received as that divine divine impartation called blessing and so if you say you are blessed and you are not being fruitful there's something wrong because god never bless you for you to be barren he bless you so that you be fruitful and so the first thing we need to do if we are going to be getting the riches, we need to now examine our being. Who are you? We are going to go into that in another uh, video. We are going to really talk about your being, your who you are, your purpose in life. Why do you exist? We are going to uh, talk about your mentality, how you respond to things, your emotional uh, focus, and all those things we are going to talk about. And then he says that be fruitful. Your fruitfulness, fruitfulness is as a result of how your being is. If your being is not healthy, then you will never be able to be fruitful. So be fruitful, multiply, replenish, and have dominion. So what is the Lord saying? The Lord is saying to us through the scriptures that he made you so that you can be productive. And through that productivity, you will master your domain. You have dominion. The dominion really comes when you have now begun to uh, increase your capacity, unleash your potential, and release the creativity that God has given to you to affect the domain that you dwell in. And as you do that, then you are going to have dominion. And so this does not exempt us. We don't use our spiritual piety to exempt us from this process. God says, I bless you, and then I made you. I want you to be made as we yield ourselves to these processes and we become productive. And then we begin to express our being in our fruitfulness. Then we shall have the dominion that comes into our life through the riches. What am I, what am I talking about? 
We will have to learn how to be productive. You have a purpose. God has invested potential in you to fulfill that purpose. You must have outlets for you to express who you are. Some of us, we are going to learn how to write books. We are going to package it. We are going to learn how to be able to be speakers. We are going to package it. We are going to learn how to be able to express ourselves through the outlets of our talents and giftings and, and what God has taken us through, uh, through the processes of life. If we do that, then we'll be rich. You see, it is in the packaging of our productivity and we're taking it to the marketplace. That is when the riches will begin to come. It does not just happen. He bless you that you so that you'll be made. And through the making process, as you allow that making process to lead you into productivity, then the riches will be attracted into your life. This is Pastor Rain of Mount speaking on Spirit Printer. Until next time, remember you've been made so that you can be rich. God bless you.